for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new run play scheme for you guys today. The start of a whole new offense. You guys know how I do. If you guys want to see some passing Woo! plays that go with the run plays I'm showing you guys today, some explosive pass plays, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm in the Buffalo Bills playbook. I've been working on getting a lot of stuff out for the Buffalo Bills, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, a lot of offensive playbooks that I really didn't get a ton of stuff out of that were kind of considered some of the better new books this year. And the Buffalo Bills is probably one of my favorite. Uh, I got a lot more. If you guys want me to continue with the Buffalo Bills. I love to put out a scheme out of the pistol spread. That's a formation I really like to use a lot. But today I'm going to be using the strong wing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys my four play setup and my audibles. Uh, there's only really one pass play you need in this particular formation and that's the drive. If you guys want to see me break down this play tomorrow, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. The route that the fullback is running is one of the glitchier routes in the game. Nothing really covers it. I'm going to show you guys a way to make that play unstoppable. But other than that, the three run plays I'm going to go over today and I'll probably have some additional run plays on my Patreon and my join out community tab are going to be the inside zone week the halfback toss which is probably one of the most explosive run plays in the uh the direction of the power side which is the two tight end side and the fullback side and then the halfback counter which is a really explosive run play to the opposite direction uh where you really should meet less resistance based off the fact that there's really uh you know your opponent's going to expect runs to the strong side so i got an explosive run play to the right explosive run play to the left now in this particular play since there's no fullback dive or anything like that just make sure you have your best blocking fullback uh, at the fullback spot on some of the future pass plays I'm going to switch that out for a running back But for now, we're just going to go with a fullback there because that's going to help with blocking Other than that, let's go to start off with the inside zone week Now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com If you guys want to get your mutt team up and help this channel out at the same time All you have to do is check them out Discount code money gets you 3% off But discount code email gets you 6% off anything on their website They do more than just mutt coins They do FIFA, they do uh, NBA 2K They do just about every game you can think of Rocket League So if you guys play on this games check them out use discount code email to get six percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market now as far as this uh series of plays goes like i said i'm just going to focus on these three plays the toss is probably going to be the mvp the toss and the counter as far as the toss goes if you get a cover three which is what this looks like here cover three cover four anything where the cornerback's going to drop back this is going to be probably the best play uh in the formation as you can see right here i mean i easily get outside and i didn't really feel like i was even going that fast but i easily get outside for like a 12 yard run this particular play looks a little bit closer to a cover four Four, you can see the cornerbacks are playing back the safeties are kind of close together so this is probably cover four cover four the safeties will shoot down and play the run a little bit better um, as far as pursuit goes but you can see we still have success to the outside pretty much any defense with the exception of cover two which is what this looks like here because the cornerbacks are playing down this play is going to have success against so you can see right there the cover two cornerback does kind of cut off the angle but we still have success to the outside because we have so much blocking two tight ends fullback you name it this is someone that's going to have success against just about any defense now as far as the counter play goes if somebody is really dramatically shifting uh, over in the direction of the strong side uh, to try to take away some of these lanes and try to stop some of these runs that's when the counter play is going to really come in handy as you can see right here i mean this is not even really the direction that's considered going but you can see how there's a huge lane to open up right over the middle typically this type of defense here isn't really supposed to have a huge gap in the middle there the reason it has that is because of the offensive formation that i'm working with here uh it, it's just so widely spread that a lot of times the defensive alignment will have holes in it that aren't meant to be there which is one of the reasons this is a really good formation as you can see right here this is a play that's typically supposed to be run outside to the left but since I see that huge hole in that formation that hole is going to open up the same way that it typically would to the outside as you can see right here we just have a huge hole going right up the middle based on the fact that we have so much pulling guards and pulling action when it comes to the fullback and stuff like that I can really take whatever holes there so this is going to be something where like I said right here I break it off other than where it's expected to go but I still have a really explosive run this is really going to be best if your opponent is shifting in the direction of the tight ends, but I don't have, I'm not taking control of the defense, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can motion this guy in here. If I motion Diggs in, you can see there's a chance that he'll pick up that linebacker and give you a little bit of help on the blocking side of things. You can see we still have a really big hole. Even though I'm not getting an ideal look, I'm still getting a lot of success when it comes to running this play. This play has a lot of options, though, when it comes to motions that you can make. You can motion across one of these tight ends. You can motion across... Uh, motion in the receiver. Uh, none of them is really necessary though. This particular look here looks a little bit closer to what I was hoping for when it comes to uh, a gap uh, to, to switch over to the counter play as well. So we have the outside linebackers just a little bit spaced out far from the defensive tackle. This should really give me the look that I want. As you can see right here, he over pursues and that gives me a much better run lane. 
that's typically going to be the angle that you want. So once you see that hole, you really just have to watch for what this outside linebacker slash defensive end does. As you can see right here on this play, he plays it aggressively. He crashes down, coming right for the running back. At any point in time you see that look, you always have to take it inside behind the blocking uh, pulling guard. If he doesn't, if he hesitates, a lot of times he'll hesitate and kind of treat it like a read option. If he does that, you have to take it outside. It's really that simple. You really have two lead blockers here. Once the pulling guard does his job, then you go just basically to the fullback. You're just going from lead blocker to lead blocker, and you're going to get huge runs. Now, you also have an inside zone week, which is also going to be successful against this type of look with a little bit more of a spread alignment. It's just a good inside run, as you're going to see here. I mean, basically, you know, that left tackle, it's like a counter just with no actual delay. So to me, the two best run plays are definitely going to be the toss and the counter, but you could always run this if you're just trying to pick up some easy yards. As you can see, I'm still not getting as much. The counter, I'm, I'm averaging about 10. This particular play, I'm averaging about 5. And then you also have the Power Alert X Smoke. The, uh, the smoke itself is really going to be best against anything. Cover 3, cover 4, once again. Anytime the cornerback drop back, you can see there, I got about 10 yards. That same thing goes for the Power. If it's a cover 3 or cover 4, you're going to have more success running it to the outside once again uh, when because the cornerback drops back. So this entire play is really meant to be used against cover 3 and cover 4 defenses. Although realistically, I think it's probably best just to throw this out and try to get, uh, you know, uh, just as long as you don't make a poor read. If you make a poor read and you run this against like a man coverage or something, you're probably throwing a pick six but as long as you make a good read this power play is just a really good uh, wrinkle to throw into your offense as long as you have a, a relatively agile fast receiver so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see part two you want to see the pass plays tomorrow i'll have a lot of them right now on my patreon on my join our community tab but if you want to see it on youtube hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below